Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry with JR. We're from Bell Boss Souls and we've got Blackstone, Blackstone Fortress. Fortress. Blackstone Fortress is a brand new Warhammer Quest game that is a kind of a linked narrative, almost legacy game at this point. You uh, have my attention. Yes, uh, it's going to be following the uh, the explorers of a new Blackstone Fortress. Right. Uh, we've got some Imperial guys. We've got a couple. We've got a Kroot guy and a, and a Suryani uh, that have all joined forces to explore the Black Blackstone Fortress, and uh, it's yeah. it's kind of crazy, man. Uh, I'm I'm excited. Like I got yeah. excited when they said there's a big like ship graveyard yeah, known yeah. as precipice where like all kinds of weirdos hang out yeah uh, and then the more we've seen about this game the more i'm just like no give it to me give it to me yeah now i want it, give it we're to gonna me. we're gonna do it jr let's go ahead and jump into blackstone fortress jr we've got the shrink wrap still on here even though you tried to tear it off i stopped you I, but i just want to see what's inside i want I, I want all the treasures let's let's get in there go ahead <sighs> still got the plastic wrap give on give me that sweet delicious narrative gameplay it's coming man it's coming all right here we go Pop in the box. Let's see what's actually in this bad boy. Ooh. Okay. All right. Sprues. We got models. Uh, we've got the explorers, which we will go over in more detail here in a minute. Wait, we'll that's all the, of them? These are the red. The red guys are the explorers. That's that. That's all of them on on those sprues. That's that's a lot of guys on not a lot of. We will sprues. come back to those. We will come back to those. Uh, we've got Ooh. a chaos lord. Hey, hey, here we go. Uh, this looks like a whole bunch of chaos dudes. These are the same two sprues. Ah. Okay, so we will come back to all this stuff. We will come back to the sprues. What else is in the box? This chunk of cardboard that's separating the sprues from... <gasps> the stuff. Delicious content. Okay, we got bases. We don't need to look at those. We've seen bases before. We got encounter cards. We've got... Um... Got Strong, stronghold cards. Look at the dice for a second here. We've got a bunch of D6s. There's a set of white D6s, a couple of black D6s, a D20. A custom D8 and custom D12. Two, two, two D12s and two D8s. Mm. Uh, we've got exploration cards, encounter cards, which we saw. We've got uh, initiative cards. Ooh, this thing. Oh! Ooh. Hidden vault envelope. Do not open until hidden vault quest has been completed. Sorry, guys. We're not allowed to open this. What? Thing. But, but we do uh, have uh, Fine. Uh, sample fine. chapter of the new Blackstone Fortress book, which of Kay. course we gotta check that out. Uh, oh, these are wow, special themed bags. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, kind of cool. Okay, yeah, hang these on, are hang the, on. the the stasis vaults. Uh, these are probably these look like they're bags. They're clear on one side, so maybe you just keep all your stuff. Yeah, uh, they. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are eight explorers. Uh huh. Maybe there's an extra one. Uh, th these are the the stasis vaults where your characters are kept safe. Oh, okay. So in like between if, missions. Okay, so this this is part of that legacy yeah, gameplay that's, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the cards, uh, the character cards, which we'll probably take a look at here shortly. Sweet. We've got the uh, the resource and artifact cards. Yeah, stronghold as well. Uh, uh, artifact cards. Uh, we've got a packet of, of things. Jerry, why don't you open it up real quick? All right. Flip that. We've got the boards, and we've got some punch-outs here. Oh, check that out. We've got some ships. Ooh. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yes, there are six different ships that, that you can kind Very of cool. uh, uh, trade with throughout the... Uh... I think you... Uh, yeah, you... you uh, yes, they are trade. They have special abilities. Uh, one's a facility ship, one's a su uh, support ship thing on the opposite sides. What... Uh, you open that up. All right, and then we have we have a lot of baggies. There's a whole lot of baggies, which is always nice to have. Because there's a whole lot of stuff in this. Yes. Uh, we've got a rule section. Read this one first. We'll flip through that here, real quick. A combat section. Right. A, which is kind of funny. So rule section. This right. one is a combat. Read this one. A combat occurs. So okay. not until then. Uh, for use in games of War in 40K, we got data sheets. That's nice. Ooh. We've got uh, precipice, which is the in between missions. Read this when you return to precipice. It's in between missions. We've got the background. I see. Which is very interesting. And then we've got, of course, the instructions on how to build everything. So. Sweet. Very cool. Um, the boards. You've got the boards down. Let's go ahead. Cool. Oh, they, no. These are punch out tiles. They are leaping out of the. They're ready to go. They are right. ready. Whoa. Okay. Haha. Right. <laughs> Back in the tile box for you. Nope. Nope. They're double sided. Good to know. Cool. I'm going to move these off. What else do we got? There's, How many of these sheets do we have? One. We got one, two, two. These are three. double sided. And yes, they are three. all double sided. 
Uh, and then there's this guy. Ooh, this is a Blackstone Fortress thing. And then also... Also... This is a player dashboard thing. Uh, this is for your uh, Destiny dice. So we'll get to that here. And then this is the combat stick. And I think there's a range stick on there, too. And, of course, we've got the... Um, this thing. The yeah, so the ship, you see, this is the support version. Flip it over. And this is the facilities version. So... From what I understand, the way these work, there's uh, each explorer comes on a on a ship or different ships. You you should have four ships total, right? Uh, for the explorers, and then uh, you kind of pick which side you want. The facilities happens after, um, after the exploration, and the support happens during. So, kind of how you want to do that. But cool. this is cool because we this is what's really cool is this is the first known uh, crew ship. Ooh, yeah, Krav Chato. Hey, that looks cool. Yeah, it's a cruise ship. I've never seen a cruise ship before, so I have not cool. either. All right, we're gonna pause real quick, and uh, we'll, we're gonna go through. We're gonna take a look at the miniatures first. We're gonna start off by looking at the uh, the explorers. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna move this screw off. We're gonna take a look at this screw much closer first. All right. So we can see the different explorers on here. We've got the looks like we've got the robot. Uh -huh. We've got the rattling twins here. I see the Rius and Rain. I see the Crute. Yep. Uh, Merc. I see the Father oh, Thaddeus, Pius, whatever Thaddeus, his name is. And yeah. Then, uh, and yeah, Thaddeus, the Purifier. And the Zealot. Zealot, uh, uh, Pius uh, Vrain, Vron, I think. Yeah, and then of course we've got the, the Asiriani Ranger. Yeah. Um, so that's like pretty much ev everybody. Almost, because we still have uh, we this still have crew. Which has the, there's the Rogue Trader. Yes, the Rogue Trader. And the Imperial Navigator. Which is really cool because we've never seen the, uh, a Navigator for the Imperium Yeah, before. I I like this one a lot. I think uh, him and the Kroot guy are kind of my... my yeah. uh, and this has got the other bits for, it looks like, uh, the, the Rattling Snipers. Which, by the way, I'm really pumped about uh, seeing those two little Rattling guys. So that's the other side of that screw. And you can see that these are mostly push fit. Miniatures, yeah. so it should be really easy to build uh, and put together. You can see they're hollow on the inside. Uh, they're only going to go together one way, uh, unless you really <laughs> screw something up. So that's uh, the Imperial, uh, or that's not Imperial Explorer, that's just the Blackstone Fortress Explorers. Uh, next cool. up, I want to take have... a look at the Chaos Lord. Yes, this is... Um... This is... Uh, Obsidian? Obsidious? Obsidious. Obsidious Malix. Obsidious Malix, cool. Uh, really cool looking model. Uh, again, this is another oh, sort of push fit model. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Uh, you can see it's got the pegs in there. Um, really nice sculpt. It's got a little mini thunder hammer, uh, plasma pistol. Uh, his backpack looks pretty ornate too. It's got weird tentacles and tubes because, you know, chaos. But that's right. going to be like the evil warband leader guy. So Ooh. pretty cool. And. Now, of course, we do get two of these sprues. And they contain a, a number of different things. So, so you've got... We're going to just look at one, because you get two of the same sprue. Right. So what do we got here? We have got your uh, uh, Chaos Marines, the Black Legionaries. Yep. You can see them hanging out there with their uh, uh, bolt gun, bolt pistol, bolt, bolt pistol and, and fun times. You've got your Rogue Psyker in there. Yep, there's his staff and stuff like that. Um... His chaos stave, and then you've got the Negavolt cultists. Those are the the Dark Mechanicus, uh, which is kind of cool because outside of uh, Scoria, who's I believe a 30k model, right? This is the yep. first time we're seeing the um, uh, the the Dark Mechanicum show up, which which I think is kind of amazing. Uh, we're all we've also got uh, uh, some four Chaos Beastmen throughout the whole sprue yeah. there. Four, there's so two and two. Uh, you've got the Urghuls. Yep, four of those guys total. Uh, and then you've got the uh, Traitor Guard. Uh, so just just to... Oh, and the Spindle Drones. Just to call something out real quick, the, the Chaos Marines, mm -hmm. they are actually, they have the same body and arm loadout, uh, but you just kind of replace the heads. Uh. So that's how you get those, those two different Marines. So I was curious about that. I was like, did they just put one Marine per thing? Yes. Yes, they did. They did. And then uh, I'm also the uh, the really cool Chaos Psyker guys. Yeah, There's they're four of those total, I think. Uh, they're they're really cool. Yeah, like 
That's gonna be crazy. I love I love the design of them, just kind of like getting carried away, and they have to be weighted down so that they don't just fly off and. Do Actually, there's there's two chaos, there's two rogue psychers mm -hmm. um, that you can build with this kit. You just swap out the heads, right? And and kind of torso pieces, so you end up with two different models. So there's gonna be a little bit of overlap between these two kits, right. between these two sprues, but uh, with what you can build. But you might end up with extra bits, but that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, really well, uh, really like interesting how they engineered all this incredibly, stuff. Incredibly, yeah, laid out incredibly well. Yeah, plus all the spindle drones. We mentioned that, but yep. Yeah, like the fact that you have all these different trader guardsmen too, <laughs> on, on a sprue with beastmen and chaos marines. And, and this and could be like a new psychers and megavolt cultists. Yeah, it's well, like a whole we should uh, we should maybe take a look at the data sheet. All right, so this book, by the way, this is the data sheets. Blackstone Fortress. It's good. It's the got 40k points. rules yep. for all of these guys. Just want to call points. out uh, for the point section. These are fixed points. There's no options for war gear or anything like that. So right, WYSIWYG. So right, right. Uh, flipping through here real quick. Uh, it's got. We're not gonna go through all of them. Uh, I'm probably gonna skip to the chaos guys actually. But right, you've got uh, data sheets for uh, all of the explorers. And, and you get some new like faction keywords like yeah. the uh, Navis Nobili or the uh, Astro Cartog Cartographica. Yes. Uh, so so those are kind of sprinkled in. By I don't way, know if we'll ever, ever see more of them. Just in but... case people were wondering too, uh, the crew tracker and the uh, Asuriani are two separate things. They do not have the Imperium keyword. Ooh. So that's interesting. Um, so if you're going to play them in 40k on the tabletop, you got to play with the uh, Asuriani or allies. The you can't, or Tau. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> All right. So, so Obsidious Malix is the Chaos Lord of the uh, the Black Fortress baddies. Yep. Uh, if you notice, most of them have some type of rule called uh, slaves to Malix or Malix followers or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, just we were flipping through this a little earlier, and I noticed that you could basically take the majority of the elements in this uh, sub faction of uh, what is it called, Servants of the Abyss. Yes. As uh, as a single patrol detachment, if you wanted uh, to, uh, so you, you can't you can't make it a battalion or any bigger because of the restrictions of the, of the rules in here. So um, it's kind of interesting, but it's a it's a new faction, Servancy the Vis. Will we see more of that? I hope so. I hope so as well. I think that's that's kind of an interesting thing that GW is yeah. trying out. Trader Guards. Because we've we've seen many factions like the Geller Pox yeah. Infected and the. Um, uh, uh, the navigators, the, the Star Striders, yeah. Star Striders before in the in the Rogue Trader expansion. Now, what I'm really interested in, what what's uh, uh, crazy to me is this one: the Blackstone con construct and yeah. unaligned keywords. The, of the spindle, spindle drones. Spindle drones are unaligned, uh, which is interesting. And then I do want to point out one other thing too: the Urgols do still have the Eldari Drakari Cabal oh. keywords. So these are the same cool. ones that you could get from the. Uh, Drakari Codex. Right. But, uh, yeah, the Spindle Drones are separate from the Chaos Forces, who are actually part of the Servants of the Abyss. So, pretty interesting stuff. Pretty yeah. interesting stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the rules. Alright, so this is the rules booklet. This is the read this first uh, kind of book for Black Blackstone Fortress. We're not going to go through how to play the game. Right. Uh, not in this video. We just want to show it off real quick. The way this book works, it is, uh, it's an introduction to the game, and it is uh, basically how to set up your first game. Right. So, so you're going to follow the instructions here. It's going to lay everything out, go through all the contents, all that fun stuff. It, it's it's going to basically put you into the tutorial level or, or, or something yeah. like that. As, as you set up the game, it's like, yep. here, do all of these things. So pick your explorer. There will be a leader token that will get passed around. Um, you, you can become inspired with the uh, the cards as well. <laughs> so we're uh, flipping through this, we notice that there's a lot of mechanics that are similar to, say, like uh, the the flipping the insp inspiration mechanic from uh, Shadespire. Uh -huh. We notice there's the cards and similar stuff from Warhammer Quest, uh, uh -huh. from uh, Silver Tower, and things like that. But this game right. is very different because right. of the board. Uh, it's also the um, you place the spacecraft. That's what I was saying earlier. They've got the su support and the facility side, mm -hmm. and they kind of differ from there. Um, the boards, it, the tiles themselves. You saw they're hex tiles, and they're going to get placed here. Double sided. Hex Double sided. Tiles. Exactly. Like that. Um, and then but it, it, this whole booklet walks you through your initial setup, mm -hmm. and then uh, once a combat actually happens in the game, you're you going to break out the combat. You break out the combat rules exactly. And there's some other special rules. Combat rules, again, we're not doing a how to play here. Uh, there is a initiative tracker, though. 
Uh, you're going to draw combat cards, and uh, these are part of the combat and encounter cards, which make up a deck mm -hmm. that you're going to be drawing from, essentially. Ah, um, cool. So the encounter, let me skip to the encounters real fast. Those, uh, uh, those involve, like, things you have to succeed at or check at or stuff right, like that. Right. Combats are very clearly, like, set up the board, do a combat. Do some fight. Do some fighting. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you create the battlefields, you fight a combat. Um, uh, it's interesting, too, there's a really fast... There is, in the rules section, kind of the order of play, which I want to show off. There's exploration rounds, uh -huh. which involve the exploration step, the recovery step, and the leader step. Uh, during the, the exploration step is when you're going to draw your challenge cards, which you're going to get combat cards or, or whatever. Right. Uh, and then the initiative, then the combat breaks down further into the uh, activation rolls, initiative, covering fire, and gambits. And now, like what's that. interesting to me is that you create your battlefield, like, yeah. but only when you trigger a combat. Correct. This game is it's very modular and very interesting, uh, the way that the, the game board's going to constantly flux. <laughs> so, it's pretty interesting. Uh, just going through the... Uh, Explorers and everything like that. Once you actually finish this scenario, uh, we're going to skip over to the Precipice book. Right. Which is right here. And now this is sort of the, the hub town. The, right. The zone where you can, like, do all of the normal in-town activities, right? Right. So Precipice, in the Precipice, uh, players are going to do the trading. You're, gonna, you're, you're basically going through the Blackstone Fortress. There are four strongholds that you have to go through. Uh, once you complete all four of those, you can then attempt to go to the, the vaults in the middle of Blackstone Fortress, which is why all of these explorers are here, um, and go through that final mission. Uh, but there's a trading mechanic, there's a bit of an economy going on here. You're going to be gathering resources as you're exploring, uh, Archaeotech points to spend on upgrades and leveling up and that type of stuff. Um, keep going here, it just goes to the hostels. Uh, and Explorers, obviously, and the different strongholds that you're going to be going through. We're not going to go through the strongholds because this is a lot of story that I, I don't want to give away. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is a, right. a, the general first thing, just kind of the title of the stronghold. The Death the map, uh, How that's going to get laid out. Uh, how to get there. Um, the scenario itself. Uh, there is an event table that you're going to be rolling on as, as well. Uh, there are rewards to the stuff like that. And, again, the final scenario is the, the, the last is vault. Is the one that lets you open up the secret vault card that you won't let me look at. This one that yeah. I won't let JR look at. It is still sealed. No, JR, no. I can't look at that. And then and finally... Of course, the, the part that I'm the most interested in, or, well, I guess, <laughs> along with everything thing. else, uh, yeah. but there's also the, the background and the lore mm -hmm. of the Blackstone Fortress, which is kind of a, a big deal for the galaxy mm -hmm. because there were six of these, and now they're all gone. Well, sort of. Sort of. Four were destroyed when... At, that's that's what that's what they said. Two two were destroyed. Two were destroyed and four were just kind of lost. Yeah, missing. Yeah, uh, one of them fell on Cadia, so we know right. where that one went. Yeah. Uh, one of them, I think, here on Blackheart has. Right. Uh, but this is a, actually a new Blackstone Fortress. That's why this is such a big deal. <clears throat> a seventh Blackstone Fortress. Yeah. Uh, but it goes through all the background history. Uh, kind of takes you inside. Yeah. And gives you some of that sweet, sweet like gothic, ultra high fantasy yeah. or sci-fi. We get to look at uh, the different ships, which is super fun. We get to see like a little Eldar. I love, cruiser. I love this little baby battle cruiser right here. <laughs> like, like it's, it's just, it's, yeah. it's the same design, right? It's like they just took the front and the back, and they're like, okay, yeah, but we'll just give them like six chambers yeah. instead of, uh, instead of like twenty. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you get background on each of the explorers as well, kind of their motivations, cool. what they're doing. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I don't know yet, honestly. I'm very curious about this navigator because we haven't yeah, seen we one haven't before. Yeah, we haven't seen one before. I, I, um, uh, I like Space Pope's Mini, which yeah. is kind of fun. I uh, like that. I like that, that robot. Robot though, yeah. yeah. Come on, there's cool stuff all around. Uh, but yeah, this is just a background booklet. Um, there are a lot of cards as well. <laughs> this is a card-based game. Uh, we're going to cut real fast. We're going to open up some of the cards and show those off now. So first up, we have the character cards. And we do have cards for the uh, the enemies that you're going to be facing, as well as the explorers. Uh, you've got uh, stat dice that you're going to be rolling here, uh, as well as your actions and special rules. On the back is the uh, inspired version of this card. Cool. So now, 
Can the enemies be inspired? Can you flip it over and find out? Uh, no. no. But that is their AI uh, deck, or their AI sort of stuff, right? So Correct. so each of these uh, hostiles is um, sort of runs themselves. This is not a, a, a uh, GM'd game. It can be. It can be. So the game itself is designed for one to five players. Right. You can play solo. In that case, you're going to be running through the AI. If you have a fifth player, you can actually have them run... Uh, the enemies. Gotcha. So it's kind of uh, it's great for whatever size playgroup you're playing. Yeah, well, you you will be able to go yeah. right there with it. So, so there's um, uh, all all of the, the heroes you can see. I'm taking you through the villains here. Yep, Green Rouse, Chaos ER, Beastman, two, 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 five, oh, two, five. Dayak Grek, Crew Tracker, and then of course, yep, uh, Emelyn Shadow Guide and is the inspired side. Obsidious Malix. Yep. Who's uh, kind of a, kind of the boss? Uh, there are several decks involved with this game. Uh, yeah. These are just to help keep keep track of different things. Obviously, there's encounter cards, discover cards, resource re cards, stronghold cards, stronghold artifact cards. Yeah. Then there's the legacy cards too. Mm -hmm. Legacy cards are kind of treated as like a overall campaign countdown timer. Right. You can uh, see some of them are literally countdown, and some of them change the game. Like now, like when you uncover the rogue psychers card, you include the rogue psyker encounter cards yeah. in your encounter deck. Correct. So it's it's kind of a well, I mean, it's a legacy. It is a deck. Le yeah. So it's a, it's a legacy game. Yeah, exactly. Kind of this is a narrative legacy story game where as you play, things are going to change. You're going to have different playthroughs of this game. Uh, it seems really cool just it because does. the way stuff changes up. Obviously, there's quite a few resource cards that go through. Um, we're not going to show off all the cards because that's going to spoil a lot of the stuff. But uh, as you as you build your deck, there's also the exploration cards. Uh, as well, this is another big deck that's going to show off uh, different, different challenges. challenges that you'll come across yeah. and, uh, and different rewards these. that you'll get for for uh, succeeding at them. They also have uh, your your combat encounters, so you can see they yes. they tell you to construct the board. Um, so these get shuffled. You're going to draw like four of these and four of these to do the first mission at least, right? And then uh, you're going to combine them, and so you're either going to have a challenge or a combat. Um, it's pretty interesting the way that the game is laid out. Uh, again, it is a legacy game. You're you're going to be going after four different strongholds in order to gather clues so that you to, can go to unlock the, the, the vault and go through everything. Now, what are these skull guys? Skull guys are weird. They're uh, they're back and forth. They're back here. and forth. They're just they're skulls. Yeah, I think they're wound counters or something. Oh, like that. But, okay. Um, they're not good. There's also the initiative cards here, and these help keep right. track of your explorers and then and also then which the, hostile groups are going to be activated. The different groups of hostiles. Cool. Yep. And they can be dealt face down to kind of keep track uh, to randomize combat and stuff like that. But that's all covered in the combat section. Well, that was Blackstone Fortress. Man, that is a lot. That is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff to get through in a box. But man, it, it seems really cool. Yes, that was, uh, it was super cool stuff. Uh, minor spoiler too. Yeah. Uh, the vault card is different for every version. Ooh. Well, correction. We don't know how many cards there are specific, but we do know that we have seen at least two cards and they were both different. So your experience is going to differ yeah. probably probably very greatly from my experience with Blackstone Fortress in terms of uh, the secrets in there. That's what's but really that's, cool. That's about what it. you want about this game yeah. is you want your story of exploring the Blackstone Fortress. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, Blackstone Fortress from Games Workshop, Warhammer Quest. Uh, can we start playing now? Yeah, let's... It's go time. All, All right, right, folks. I'm Adam Harry. I'm JR. We're from Ball of Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.